All right, all right, Longo here, everybody. We're going to talk to you in this video about how to find the area of triangles. So, area of a parallelogram is base times height. So, I'm going to show you using a parallelogram, or in this case, a rectangle, how we come up with the triangle formula of half the base times height. And it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take your laser, go from one vertex to the other diagonally, and get rid of part of it, and you will be left with a triangle. So if you cut a rectangle along its diagonal, or any parallelogram for that matter, along its diagonal, you are left with a triangle. So that's how we have half of the base times height, because if the area of a parallelogram is base times height, and we're just using half a parallelogram, simple, half the base times height. Very similar to a parallelogram, your height must always be vertical or perpendicular to the base. So sometimes the height is inside, sometimes it is one of the sides, and sometimes it's outside. Just remember, very important, the height of a triangle has always got to be perpendicular to the base. After that, it's plain and simple. So to find the area, of these triangles, all you have to do is apply the formula with a base and a height. So number one, you would just have to do one half of the base times the height. And that will give you 35 inches squared. See? Told you. Simple. Why don't you try the second one and then brainstorm the third one. The third one's a little tricky. We'll get through it. So the second one, the base is 12. But the height is not 8. It's not 16. The height is 4. So the only reason it's tricky because the height is actually outside of the triangle. Again, don't worry about it. And 12 does not include this dashed line. It's only the actual base. So half the base times height is going to give you 24 centimeters squared. If you got that, you're good to go. And the third one, you should notice that we do not have enough information given to us. We need the base. However, since it's a right triangle, we could easily find that. It's our good buddy, the Pythagorean theorem. So 25 minus 9, b squared is going to give us 16. So the base is 4. So then we're just going to do half the base times the height of 3, and we get 6 yards squared. So sometimes if you don't have all the information, chances are it's pretty easy to just go ahead and find it. In this case, all you needed was the Pythagorean theorem. One working backwards problem. So the area of the triangle is 40. So if area is equal to 1 half the base times the height, and we're given that the area is 40, then we just have half the base times height. So we have 4, and then we're looking for the base. So 40, half of 4 is 2, B. Divide both sides by 2, and you get the base is equal to 20 inches. And that's it. That's your video on how to find the area of triangles. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.